Hello, in this video I'm going to solve the following problem for you. Let us read the problem together first. If f and g are two functions having continuous second derivatives on the interval a to b, close interval a to b, and if f of a equals a, g of a equals f of b equals g of b equals 0, show that the integral from a to b f of x times g double prime of x dx equals to integral from a to b f double prime of x times g of x dx. What other assumptions about the values of f and g at a and b would give the same result? That would be a good idea if you pause the video at this point and try to solve the problem yourself first. Uh, okay, now let us solve the problem together. So I want to show that this integral matches this integral. There is some nice relation going on here. You see, uh, I am flipping the second, the, both derivatives from g to f, and we are claiming that this integral is equal to this integral. Of course, under the uh, assumptions saying that f and g are twice differentiable, and of course, I will have also this. Okay, so let us do that. We use integration by parts two times. Okay. Uh, how? Let me start from the left hand side. And I want to use the integration by parts. So that's the formula. So we have integral from A to B, U dV is equal to UV from A to B minus integral from A to B, V dU. Okay, so in this problem, I will take this one to be u, and I will take this part to be dv. So let us see how it goes. So I would say that, okay, u is equal to f of x. So you know that for using integration by parts formula, I also need du. This appears here, and I also need v. So from here, I calculate du, means differentiate this function, which will give me f prime of x, and then I multiply it by dx. And then I will take this one to be dv, and I need to find uh, v. So v is any primitive function of g double prime. The primitive function for job, the, uh, g double prime is simply g prime. Okay? So I would say that now the left-hand side is equal to u times v, which is f of x, g prime of x from a to b minus the integral from a to b v du okay so v let me write it here and du consists of two parts so let me write dx here and f prime of x here okay i can simply open this up so what should i do I need to replace every x with the upper limit, so it will give me f of b, g prime of b, minus f of a, g prime of a. Okay? And then I want to use integration by parts once more on this new integral. I want to give the role of u to f prime, and I want to give the role of dv to this. And if you don't mind, let me read what I let me write what I need here. So u is f prime of x. As usual, I need du. So the derivative of f prime becomes f double prime of x. Then I multiply it by dx. Then I will say dv is equal to g prime x dx. V is a primitive function for g prime. So v is g of x. And when I put that here, so I will have minus sign. To take care of this minus sign properly, if you don't mind, let me open a pair of brackets here. And then I will have u times v. But u is this, v is that. So u times v is just simply f prime of x, g of x. I have to run it from a to b, minus the integral from a to b, uh, v du. So this is my v but my du is f double prime x dx. I put the dx part here, and then I will put double prime 
of F here. And if you don't mind, let me make it, bring it closer. Okay, so then what happens? Uh, so you see that uh, I intentionally don't want you these assumptions yet. Of course, here I can simply put this is zero because f of b is zero and f of a is zero. Because I am looking a little bit ahead to myself because I want to answer the last part of the question. So if you don't mind, don't be in hurry and let us live with it and keep it for the time being. I will do the same thing here. Okay, so what happens? I will copy and paste the first part. So this becomes equal to f b g prime b minus f of a g prime of a and I will do the same thing here but I have to be careful about that minus sign first I put b there but the minus sign will be multiplied so it becomes minus f prime of b g of b and then minus, I have to replace x with a, but there is also a minus sign coming there, so it becomes plus f prime of b, g, f prime of a, g of a. And then this minus sign will be multiplied here, so this will give me plus integral from a to b, f double prime of x, g of x, d of x. Yes? So... I was able to start from the left hand side. So far, I have a big, what is so called boundary term, plus this integral. This integral is exactly the one that I want to arrive here. But then, so far, I haven't used these conditions at all. But now you see that if I use those conditions, f of b is zero, is given. So this term will vanishes no matter what g is, but I know that g is twice differentiable, so I don't have any problems with g prime of b. The same story here, f of a uh, kills that one. Here, I don't know f prime of b, but I know g of b is zero. Here, I also know that g of a is zero. So this is nothing except zero, and then I have my left-hand side equals to the right-hand side under that circumstance. But the second part of the question is asking probably what is the most general condition that I have to impose on f and g so that it guarantees this. Of course, this is one possible answer. If f and g satisfy these conditions, then this left-hand side is indeed equal to the right-hand side. But the most general idea is that no, so this should be zero, okay? If for functions f and g, this is guaranteed to be zero, then the left-hand side becomes equal to the right-hand side. One possible way to make this equal to zero is having those conditions. But in general, I, my uh, condition, the general condition is that this to be zero. Okay, so how can I write that to be zero? I can keep the b ones together. So fb times g prime of b and minus f prime of b, g of b is equal to zero and equal to, I move these to, to the other side. So it becomes f of a, g prime of a, minus f prime of a, and g of a. So if I have two functions, f and g, so that this value at b matches with its value uh, at a, then this integral and that integral become equal. Okay, so I hope that this video was useful for you. Until the next video, be safe and goodbye. Thank you.